Hello friends. Today we'll discuss on cocoa pods or the coconut coir pods, the pros and cons of using cocoa pods and how they help in faster plant growth by using automatic air pruning mechanism. Coming up. Before we start, please make sure you have subscribed to this channel along with the bell notification clicked. Well, for those who want to grow their plants faster organically, shifting from plastic pots or cement pots to cocoa pots is the best option. You'll learn about this shortly. What are cocoa pots? Cocoa pots, also called as coir pots or coconut coir pots, are biodegradable pots or planters made from coconut fibers. They are widely used in horticulture and home gardening because they have their own advantages which we'll discuss shortly. These cocoa pots are available in different sizes and different shapes including seedling cups, hanging pots and other types of fancy planters. You can check a link in the description to purchase these pots. Well, how are they manufactured? They are made from coconut fibers which is not expensive and the same stuff is used to make cocoa peat which I'm sure almost all gardeners use in their potting mix. These cocoa pots are either handmade or machine made. We'll not go into the details of how these are manufactured in this episode. In short, they're made using coconut coir fibers and natural rubber latex, which is 100% natural and biodegradable. Now, before we look into the benefits or advantages of cocoa coir pots, we'll list out the two disadvantages or cons of using cocoa pots. They are expensive than cement and plastic pots. And secondly, they are not durable like the plastic or the cement pots. Now, let's look at the benefits of using cocoa coir planters. Number one, they are biodegradable. This means if you're using seedling pots of cocoa coir or small planters, you can directly plant the whole container into the soil. This will degrade in the soil and the roots establish in the soil. This way you're avoiding the transplant shock or repotting shock which can sometimes kill your plant. On number two, the nourishment. Coca coir is rich in some nutrients like potassium, zinc, magnesium, copper and iron. And all these are very much beneficial to a plant's growth, especially useful for seed starting. On number three, they are lightweight. And the lightweight of the pot makes it ideal for terrace gardening and also for hanging planters. Then on number four, the most important one is air pruning of roots or aerial root pruning. This is the most important advantage of using cocoa pots. Normally what happens is when you grow in a non-porous pot like the plastic or the cement pot, there is congestion of roots. You can see this root ball. This is an entangled form of roots growing within a bound container. Whether it's plastic or cement pot, this is what happens. As the plant and the roots continue to grow, there is no space for root development. The growing roots hit the rigid wall of the container and go around like a spiral fashion and grow in the available space and get root bound. Yes, this is called root bounding and this is the reason why we need to repot our plants in a larger size container once in a year or so. But if you apply the concept of air pruning, this does not happen in air pruning pots. Plants grown in coconut coir pots undergo air pruning which promotes healthy root distribution and avoids root coiling. So what exactly happens with this air pruning of roots? Cocoa pots are porous on all sides. The growing roots quickly penetrate or touch the pot walls. On coming in contact with air, the root tip is burned by air and that root point stops growing and hence two new root branches start to appear, leading to secondary roots that start to multiply within the pot in a similar process without coiling. You can watch my detailed episode on air pruning where I have experimented this on a tomato plant using cocoa pot as well as a fabric bag. You can click here at this circled end screen link to watch that episode. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. Happy gardening!